I'm Steve Reinhars, CEO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions and Robotic Assistance Devices. I thought this would be a good time for a comprehensive update on our Bailey's Gift campaign and our firearm detection technologies. For those that are not familiar, uh, immediately following the Uvalde, Texas school shooting, we fast-tracked the launch of RAD's firearm detection AI-based analytic, which can identify an exposed firearm, either a long gun or a short gun, at uh, some significant ranges, depending on the circumstances. I felt the need to get this affordable and politically agnostic solution into the marketplace as quickly as possible. In late June, we hosted a panel discussion and performed the first public demonstration of the technology in New York City with fantastic reactions from the industry, schools, and the media. And it was at this event where we introduced Secret Holt, mother of a 2018 school shooting victim, Bailey Holt. That's where we got the name Bailey's Gift from. Secret has since become a tremendous ambassador for our solutions, opening many doors and opportunities for us and spreading the word wherever possible. And just weeks after the panel in New York, we conducted a media event at the Rex, which is our factory in Detroit, where we performed more detailed live demonstrations in front of the press and introduced Bailey's Gift, introduced the Bailey's Gift campaign uh, for K through 12 schools. Uh, that event, by the way, the Bailey's Gift campaign is where we're giving out 10 uh, free systems to underprivileged schools in need. That event resulted in strong local media exposure and has fueled interest from national media and created ripple effects that are still resonating, often without any effort on our part. We've received dozens and dozens of applications from deserving schools for Bailey's Gift firearm detection ROSA units. Uh, and Bailey's Gift, the devices are no cost to the schools. Out of the dozens received, we've awarded 10 schools their Bailey's Gift Award. Um, and these are, as I mentioned, typically underfunded and uniquely vulnerable schools. The first few units are being deployed in the Detroit area, with several more scheduled for deployment and activation soon. And we continue to receive applications. Several more came in after the recent St. Louis school shootings. It's maddening that it takes a shooting incident to stimulate interest in action. Just last week, we demonstrated our firearm detection technology on a very large school's network of existing security cameras. And that opportunity came to us from the school principal searching online for a viable technology solution to the concerns his school has. He saw the New York events video and demonstration and immediately contacted us. This new solution that we're calling Ross will soon add our advanced tech to the millions of static IP cameras that are already in place. This is a massive market opportunity for RAD. Yesterday, Campus Security and Life Safety Magazine hosted a webinar that had its roots in what we started in June. RAD was asked to sponsor the webinar with the opportunity to introduce the topic, talk about our solutions to hundreds of school superintendents and school security officers. From all the efforts, coverage, and word of mouth, RAD's sales line is getting loaded with opportunities at schools and colleges for ROSA units and even for Ross, even though we haven't really started talking about it too much yet. Every school needs this technology and they need it right now. It's affordable, it's easy to install, it's easy to maintain. That's why we're working to get the word out and deploy as many of these systems as is possible and as quickly as we can. We'll keep you up to date as new deployments occur. And as always, I ask you please, share the words of this solution with everybody interested. Let's get the word out together. Thank you for your attention. Make it a great day.